Today we're taking a look at Colorado State vs. NC State match, which is happening on Thursday, March 25, 2021 at 7 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The NIT quarterfinals bring us a fantastic matchup between NC State and Colorado State. NC State finished 9th in the ACC standings, almost perfectly aligned with their preseason prediction of 8th. The Wolfpack struggled in early January with four consecutive conference losses to Clemson, Miami, Florida State, and North Carolina. Colorado State was a nice surprise in the Mountain West, finishing 3rd overall after a preseason prediction of 5th. The Rams entered the season ranked 308th in experience per Ken Palm, but disproved the popular theory that Nico Medved's club was one year away. Who should betters back in this fantastic matchup of two evenly matched teams with legitimate title aspirations? While the Wolfpack are averaging just 73 points per game, the team is certainly accurate from the floor ranking in the top 70 in the country in field goal along with three-point percentage. The team lost a critical player and leading scorer Devin Daniels late January as he suffered a serious knee injury in the team's five-point home win over the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. To make up for his scoring production, the team has relied on the scoring of Bates, Funderburg, along with Helms. The trio each shot 50% or better in the team's opening win over the Wildcats while Helms and Funderburg finished a combined 3-6 from long range. Forward Helms is not only making 47% of his shots from the floor on the year, but can stretch defenses with his ability to make shots from deep. Bates is very accurate on the offensive end and has shown an ability to be a presence on the defensive end as well racking up 21 blocks in his last 9 outings. Defense has been the calling card for the Wolfpack this season as the team is giving up just 69 points per game. However, it should be mentioned that the team is ranked 234th along with 247th in field goal along with 3-point percentage allowed. With an offense for the Rams that can put points on the board in an accurate manner, the Wolfpack may indeed be exploited. Despite this, the team enters this contest failing to give up 70 points in all but one of their last six games. The number one Colorado State Rams believe they should have been included in the NCAA tournament. They won five out of their last six regular season games and only lost four clashes in the entire regular season. The Rams were eliminated by Utah State in the semifinals of the MWC tourney and were two-point favorites in their 75-73 buzzer-beating first-round win over the Buffalo Bulls. David Roddy is one of the best players remaining in this tournament. The sophomore guard is a double-double threat and collected 17 points in the first round victory. Roddy has scored at least 15 points in three out of his last four games and has compiled an average of 16.1 PPG and 9.5 RPG. Isaiah Stevens is another talented player capable of big points. The sophomore guard has filed an average of 15 PPG and 5.5 APG. Kendall Moore has only netted a combined 8 points in his last two performances. The junior guard enters this one averaging 10.5 ppg. The Rams are ranked 68th overall in Ken Pomeroy's college basketball ratings and stand at 3-1 to one on neutral locations. Colorado State is scoring an average of 75.9 points, good for 66th in DI. They are solid defensively as well, holding foes to 65.8 points, placing them 60th in the country. NC State has reached the NIT quarterfinals despite losing leading scorer Devin Daniels to an ACL tier in late January. The Wolfpack rallied to end the regular season, winning five consecutive games. They were then crushed by Syracuse 89-69 in the first round of the ACC tournament, before bouncing back with a 75-61 win over Davidson in the NIT quarterfinals. Junior forward Jericho Helms has helped to fill the void, with 11 or more points in 10 of the 12 games since Daniel's injury. He is balanced up front by senior DJ Funderburg and sophomore Manny Bates. At 6'11", Bates is also one of the nation's leaders in blocked shots at 2.7 per game. The Wolfpack's backcourt is solid, 
with freshman Cam Hayes and senior Braxton Beverly controlling tempo and spacing the floor on offense. NC State will rely on the interior to overpower an undersized Colorado State front line. Bates and Funderburg should provide a huge rebounding advantage, which will be needed to offset the Rams' proficiency from 3P. The Wolfpack were torched from deep by Syracuse, allowing 14 of 29 shooting from beyond the arc. The Rams generate almost 35% of their points from deep, and if Colorado State gets hot, the Wolfpack's interior advantage will be severely minimized. The biggest mismatch is on the defensive end, where Colorado State holds metric advantages in almost every area. The Rams are superb at defending the arc, allowing opponents to shoot just 30% from deep. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. I see this contest as being one that will be fast-paced from start to finish. However, I feel as though the Rams can make a living on the perimeter as well as from deep versus a Wolfpack team that struggles at times with consistency guarding the perimeter. Colorado State is not only making over 48% of their shots from the floor, but a solid 37% from long range where Roddy and company have made their living in 2020-21. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Colorado State Rams minus 1.5. The Wolfpack are 2-5-1 ATS in their last 8 games following an ATS win and 5-2 ATS in their last 7 games overall. The Rams are 26-9 ATS in their last 35 Thursday games and 1-3-1 ATS in their last 5 games overall. The over is 5-2 in Wolfpack last 7 overall. The under is 7-2 in Rams last 9 overall. The Wolfpack earned just one quadrant I win all season, finishing 1-7 against their toughest opponents. The Rams earned those two huge road wins at San Diego State and Utah State. With their three-point shooting ability and a great coach in Medved, this Colorado State is focused on a knit title that will serve as the foundation for a fantastic 2021-2022 season. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.